Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And Stampin' Up! demonstrators have access to Stampin' Connection, a website just for us. And Deb Turner asked how to make a video. And so I'm still new to doing videos, so this one's for her. I found that the hardest thing to do on a video is hand hold my phone and talk at the same time, so this video is not one of my best. One of the things I wanted to start off by saying is to have something on your desktop. After you make your video, you're going to post it to YouTube, and YouTube, well, at least that's what I do, YouTube will pick a couple of um, snaps from your video, and you never know what they're going to be, so you don't want it to be have a blank screen that it might want to pick. Okay, next I'm going to show you my video space because I've got a teeny tiny craft corner. Um, and this is where I do my videotaping. And I used to put a little plexiglass sheet or a, I suppose you could put a piece of glass Let's see if I can talk and do this at the same time. And I would put it under this box. In fact, there it is, still there. Um, and I would just rest my phone on top of this. I drilled a hole in it, and I'd try and get my lens in that hole. Although I don't think it really mattered. But I couldn't really see what I was doing on the phone, and I couldn't control any place where it went to. You know, I couldn't control the aim at all. And so I'm very excited to show you my low-tech solution. I had purchased a phone mount that had a flexible bar that stuck into my car charger, but it never really worked very well. And let's see, this is, it says it's a uh, deluxe I just got it at the at Fry's actually. Um, it didn't really work very well and so I was trying to figure out how I could mount my phone and I saw that and I thought gosh I wonder if this will help and I looked it just unscrewed there's a screw right there hopefully you can see it it unscrewed um, from that flexible bar and I happen to have a dowel in my garage that fit perfectly. And then this end is on a bookend that I just drilled another hole and there was already a hole in the bookend. Um, and so I drilled, um, just attached that with a, a wing nut and I set this up on my shelf. Let me see if I can do this one handed. There you go. So I set this up on my shelf with a box on top of it and this gives me a little bit of flexibility to aim my camera where I want. So I take my video, I then make sure and uh, close that out of the active um, programs on my phone. Um, I think I mentioned I just use my phone to video and it's, I've got a Galaxy S4 but I'm sure most phones could do a video. I post it to YouTube and then um, I put it on my website. You'll never guess what my website is. Um, I post it to my website and then I can't, I've only posted one or two to Stampin' Connection, but I, when I tried to upload it from my computer to Stampin' Connection, it said the file was too big and when I send it from YouTube to Stampin' Connection, that fixed that problem. Um, I also wanted to say, I think it was Don Griffith who made a video on how to do videos that I think you'll find in the learning section on Stampin' Up! Demonstrator website. And she said, just do it. And that's what got me started to just do a, a, a video. My videos are not very good. As I said, I don't know how to edit. Um, you do want to keep the length as short as possible, and this one's already almost five minutes, and so it's I need to finish it up. 
Um, but I hope this video helps. I look forward to finding out how to edit. So if somebody else posts a video on how to do that, I would love it. Thanks for stopping by.